How to use can in English. The word can has many meanings in English. Of course, it can be used as a noun to describe a tin or aluminum container for food or other items. But that's not what this video is about. Here we're talking about the modal verb can, which has several meanings. Can can be used to indicate the following. Number one, ability. I can play the piano. Two, possibility. I can play the piano now. Three, permission. Can I play the piano? Four, requesting. Can you play the piano? Offering. Can I play the piano for you? Six, hinting. Maybe I can play the piano. Note, the differences in meaning depend mostly on intonation and context. We'll learn about each one separately. One, ability. When you use can to indicate ability, it means a person is able to do something, has the skill, or knows how to do it. I can play football. Amanda can sing. Van can program computers. Danny can do magic tricks. In this case, the word can is mostly pronounced kun. Number one, ability, practice. What are some abilities you and your friends have? You can use the pictures as cues. Talk for a minute or two. For example, I can play the piano, but my brother can lift the piano. Pause the video and talk for a couple of minutes. Two, possibility. In this instance, can means something is possible, perhaps one of many alternatives. I can drive you to the airport, or you can take the bus. We can meet after the party. I can cook the meal. They can fix it later. Again, the word can can be pronounced kun. Two, possibility, practice. Pretend you're planning a big party for next week. Make suggestions about what you and your friends can do to prepare. I can bake a cake. Boris can bring the candles. You can send out the invitations. Take a few minutes to talk about it. Pause the video and talk with your partners. Three, permission. Can is commonly used when asking for or giving permission. It is like asking, is it okay if I do this? It is a less formal way of saying may. Less formal. Can I borrow your pencil? Sure you can. Here you go. Can my kids sit here? Of course they can. More formal. May I borrow your umbrella? Yes, you may. Be my guest. Could I open the window? Yes, go ahead. Could is a little more formal than can. The word can can also be pronounced kun here. Three, permission, practice. Practice asking for and giving permission using can or more formal words like may or could. You can use the pictures as prompts for conversation. Feel free to pause the video so you can talk more. Four, requesting. What's the difference between asking permission and requesting? Usually, asking for permission starts with can I, may I, could I. Requesting, on the other hand, starts with can you, could you, would you. With requesting, you're asking the other person to do something. Can you help me with this box? Sure, no problem. Less formal. Could you give me a hand? Yes, I'd be happy to. More formal. Would you hand me that box? Of course, here it is. More formal. Requesting, practice. Practice requesting, asking your partners to do something for you. You can use formal or informal requests. Pause the video and practice speaking. Five, offering. Can can also be used when offering to do something for someone else. It usually starts out, can I verb for you? It is similar to asking for permission. There are also formal and less formal ways of offering. Less formal. Can I help you? More formal. May I help you? Can I get you some coffee? Could I get some tea for you? An expression for offering your help or services is, what can I do for you? Five, offering. Practice. Practice offering services to your partner. You can use the pictures as prompts. 
pause the video and practice talking. 6. Hinting This usage of can is not so common, and it can sometimes have a subtle or ironic meaning. It means something like, here's a suggestion, you might want to take it or try it. For example, we can go see a movie, if that's okay with you. I can fix that squeaky door, if you want me to. Maybe you can talk to your boss. Just a suggestion. Hinting. Practice. Practice hinting or making subtle suggestions with can or could. More formal. You can use the pictures to get some ideas. Pause the video if you'd like more time. Hope that was helpful. Check out our website for more information on can and other modal verbs. See links in the description below. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, click on the thumbs up icon. You can also subscribe to our channel to get new videos when they come out. And don't forget to send your suggestions for our next video.